the Ganges Brahmaputra Meghna Basin is the largest river system in the world. Covering more than 1.5 million square kilometers, the basin supports around half a billion people in coastal Bangladesh. It's very densely populated, more than a thousand people per square kilometer, depending on fisheries and agriculture, particularly rice paddy for their livelihoods. The benefits people get from their natural surroundings are called ecosystem services. People in developing countries rely very heavily on their environment to get firewood for cooking and heating, clean water, food, also to harvest products that they can then sell to get an income. In this part of southern Bangladesh, many communities are entirely dependent on natural resources. They're really removed, they're really marginal. There's no roads, there's no access to market, no schools, no health, and so really ecosystem services are, are what keep these people alive. Despite being rich in resources, communities are facing insecurity. The threats are cyclones, floods from the sea, and rivers, and during the dry season, salinization. Salt water pushes in from the sea. High salinities can cripple agriculture and be the difference between having a good crop and having nothing. In 2012, Ecosystem Services for Poverty Alleviation, or ESPA, began a research program here to help decision makers gain a better understanding of the complex relationship between people and the environment. Bandar Katfat, Mane of Nare a Golfata, Golfata the Sawani. Tarfata Mashag Zangalate Duri Shungare Salai. Tarpare Gherbari take a mass yakare. Espa Deltas was looking at the future of ecosystem services and livelihoods and poverty. Traditionally, most analyses have ignored factors that are influencing future outcomes. Our project's unique because it combines the biophysical, socioeconomics and governance and allows us to think how these interact. In the face of rising sea levels, it is crucial that vulnerable countries like Bangladesh have the tools to plan ahead. We use models in Bangladesh to capture the interaction. We have flowing water and nutrients and sediment from the top. We have the sea bringing in tides, salts and cyclones. We have the people on the land making decisions. And our models capture these processes and how they interact. So we get a much more realistic view of how today is and how the future might be. I think devising future scenarios is very critical for the planning process. And uh, if we can predict the water river flow from the upstream, uh, which has huge impact on salinity, is very important for agriculture and fisheries in the southern district, which impacts the poverty too. Although we recognize that it takes a lot of time and effort, it's absolutely essential that we have good policies and processes in place that allow for inclusive participation of people in decisions about the environment they depend upon. To help make accurate forecasts, local researchers gathered data about the natural resources most important to the poor. It's important to ask people about these services because they're very much undervalued. The value is placed on the things that make money, cash crops, monoculture such as rice and the shrimp and the prawn. We were trying to raise the profile of the natural resources which are freely available. This ISPA Delta study is uh, oil designed, oil planned, integrated, and much more science and people oriented. Collection of the information of the area and the people is not new, but this is now presented, analyzed, interpreted better way. Through conversations with local communities, researchers learned of changing land use. Over the past decade, the intrusion of salt water has brought ideal conditions for shrimp farming, but has pushed out large numbers of rice farmers. We 
তারা বড় লোক মানুষ তারা ওই আর কি মানে যা দে সেটা আমাদের নীতি হয় As well as helping Bangladesh work towards its sustainable development goals, it's hoped that Espa Delta's tools can support the country in adapting to long-term threats like climate change. We're providing the evidence to the government about what different interventions might mean. For example, there's lots of walls in Bangladesh to control water levels, and should they enhance those walls or can they use mangroves and natural processes? and uh, if this models produce something which play with this uh, local scenario local context that is very useful because government cannot do that uh, we don't have that capacity one of the most exciting outcomes of the project is that we're taking it forward together with the bangladesh government and applying these methods and also transferring it to other deltas around the world the policy suggestions that will be uh, coming from these uh, scientific research and 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 modeling will be very much beneficial for us to make policy preparation for the country